Hi, welcome. Um, if you're new here, my name is Saya, and yeah, I just got a new mic, so I'm a little excited about that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a drawing. It's about using symmetry. Here we go. So this is like one of the easiest ways that I like to draw um, when doing like face forward um, characters. So I just start with, that's way too big. I just start with a circle to help me you know, keep everything nice and round. See how pretty that is, that circle? Awesome. Then go ahead and draw the bottom half. Add some of those lines that all the artists do when they're drawing faces. Maybe do another one here. Maybe we're going to put the nose here. Let me zoom in. There we go. That's better. Uh... Yeah. A cute little nose. Maybe add it like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead, open up a new layer and just start drawing in some eyeballs. Yeah, so I'm really bad at drawing eyes, like, perfectly. Not that eyes are perfect. I don't know if anyone's eyes are actually perfect in real life, but I like my drawings to look at least, like, somewhat clean. Well, not that clean, but, you know, like, symmetrical. I just like things symmetrical when I'm doing faces, and this is, like, my little quick cheat way of how I do front facing characters to look symmetrical you know go ahead and draw in the lips nose eyes eyebrows especially sometimes because you know sometimes one can be like perfect and the other one just looks like absolute garbage which is fine because in real life they don't look perfect but again i like mine to look symmetrical so yeah and then I'll go ahead and I'll erase some of these lines. Sometimes I'll just go in and the, uh, oh, not the nose. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and bring the face in, the head in at least, the, the head, bring the head in. And then draw some ears. There you go. So you're starting to look a little better, right? Look how fast I did that. You know, that's why I love symmetry and doing characters. Not even just for characters, for like a lot of things. Just because it's like super quick. Yeah. She's already starting to look like she's alive. Yeah, so I took a long break from YouTube for a while because I just had like a lot. Like it was during when... Um, Trump was in office and all these things were just going on. I was stressing out a little bit about like just being online and dealing with like friends who just, you know, who weren't friends and, you know, just a lot of people who were very emotional at the time. And um, yeah, it's just amazing to me how quick like you can lose a friend that you've been cool with for such a long time and all of a sudden they're gone because whatever you may have a different opinion about something so what can you do um at the time I was like you know not really like in the best place mentally so I figured like taking some time off would be better and I also had like girls on here that were like just you know harassing me a little bit um so yeah, I had to take some time off just to kind of like get myself together in the outside world. And a lot of things has, hap has happened since then. Um, yeah, a lot. And I guess I won't go too much into it because then I'll be like going down like a long 
rabbit hole, but maybe like over time I'll share some things. Um, but for now, this is what you got. Yeah. So cool. Literally, like this is the best way to do character sometimes because it's like you can just draw everything in. It's like super easy. And just like, you know, for the hair, just make everything look almost perfect, you know, as if like you have that skill to make everything look perfect with one hand, even though we know truly deep down inside you don't have this skill. It's okay. I think I might actually like bring her hair over the ear just because I'm a little lazy. There you go. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been pretty tense lately. So me drawing right now is like vacation almost. Like it feels like a vacation to sit here and just draw. So I have like a lot of things that I have to do and I don't really want to do it. So I don't know why I'm talking in like an accent right now. Maybe I'll add some color. Let's just color it in by hand. Yeah, she's going to have blue hair because I would never dye my hair blue in real life, but I like to see it on other people. I think it's cool. I don't have the balls to dye my hair blue. Maybe purple, but not blue. I feel like blue is really hard to get out, and once you dye your hair blue, once it fades, I feel like blue like turns into this weird teal green color. And then it just looks looks a little dirty. Let's do her green eye. Burgundy looking lips. You know what? No, I don't like that. I think it's too much. No. Try this one. Yeah. This is like the worst drawing ever, but I'm going to keep going. I think I don't like this black part in her eye, so I'm going to actually remove that. I don't know why. I just don't like that in eyes. She still looks kind of weird to me. I don't know what it is, but she looks really weird. All right, then eventually I turn the symmetry off and just go in and, you know, just add whatever details I want to, you know, just spruce it up a little bit. Yeah, like so. Let's see, I'm gonna go in, add like a little, a little life to her nose. Maybe add some highlight to her eyes right here. She's kind of cute now. I was actually gonna like quit on her because I thought it was ugly, but I'm actually starting to like her a lot more. Okay, so. This is the final results. I think I'm going to end this here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye.